Good morning. Good morning. I'm Des. You are at Abide at Home. And this is just one of my little car chats that I sometimes like to have with my sisters here on the channel. Uh, this channel focuses on faith and helping us abide at home in all that we do. Abide in God's word. Live according to God's word. How do we do that practically? How do we how do we pass that on to our kids? That's what this channel is about. So in, in reference to that, one of my favorite scriptures, guys, is Romans 12, 2. Let me um, read it for you. Do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. I wanted to share that scripture with you today because I think um, when you talk about first womanhood and then homeschool, when you talk about womanhood, I started to think about, look, what does that mean to really transform? Well, it's, it's surrendering to the Holy Spirit, and allowing him to sanctify you, allowing his word to, to, to transform the way that you think, right? And in this time, it is so much happening. You can get distracted by so much. I wanted to encourage us today to remember to focus on him and what he says. You can only do that by what? Reading his word. So today, one little step that you can make is, okay, look at your schedule and say, Lord, where can I submit my time to? Where, where can I spend time with you? Right? Meaning um, reading his word. Not listening to a podcast, not listening to a sermon. Where can I carve out time to read his word? That's the first thing. I wanted to encourage you to not overlook the opportunity that God has given us, right? We are here in a position where we're so fortunate to um, help guide God's children. He is trusting us with them. He's told us in his word to teach them diligently, right? And in even thinking about Romans 12 too, be, be transformed, right? How do we teach our children how to submit to Christ? How do we teach our children, like practically how that is? There are adults that don't even know what that means, right? But how, how in this world, in this time, in what they're dealing with, how do we teach them to submit to God fully? I think that's something worth thinking about, like, for a couple minutes, right? Just like you're planning your curriculum, just like you're planning your lesson plans, um, there's a time where you need to stop and say, okay, spiritually, how am I guiding my children? That's a part of homeschool. That's every parent. Every parent to me is a homeschooler, but that is a part of homeschool, right? Like there are, there's an opportunity, a, cre a unique opportunity that we have to speak into our children's lives in ways that no one else can, can do, right? If we, if they were in a different situation, we might not have the ability, the time to, right? We can literally craft days and activities and experiences around teaching them how to be a woman or a man of God. So, okay, practically, okay, think about your schedule. Look at your schedule. I want to challenge you. Look at your schedule, and I want you to pick a day where you have a personal development day. Sis, the teachers have personal development days in public school and private school. So, first of all, you should have one. But second of all, what about your kids? What about your kids? Is our homeschool at a point where we're like, okay, they wake up. They do their schedule, do this, do this, do this, do that. And then there's no spiritual formation, no discipleship, no. We we almost expect to read a verse, to read it. Maybe, maybe we think we're doing really good and we're reading a catechism. But we're we're reading a verse here and there. We might be doing our devotional here and here and there, right? And then and then that's it. We've done what we needed to do in terms of discipleship. We go on about our business, live however we want to live, right? And then we expect our kids to come out being whole kids who honor God with their lives, who understand their faith, right? We have to step it up and just do a little bit more. So one thing that I would say is a, is a thing, an easy thing that you can try doing is creating a personal development day, right? 
The personal development day would be a day where you go and you say, okay, I want to stick with certain areas. For me, I look at their health. Like, how are you physically taking care of your body, right? Not just exercise and whatever. How are you taking, I have girls, right? How are you taking care of your body, hygiene? How do you carry yourself? So then I'm looking at like um, uh, self-esteem, identity. Then I'm looking at friendships, how you're perceived, which matters, how you're perceived and how you present yourself. Um, how you express love, how you don't express love, your mind, the, the hygiene that you have in terms of how you, you manage day-to-day -day stress, what you think about, what you allow, like what you deem is acceptable, what you don't, right? That, that is the stuff that I'm thinking about that I'm literally going through a list saying, okay, how, what do I want to focus on this personal development day, right? Maybe it's, um, maybe it's your mind stress stress how to deal with stress here's an how to deal with stress you can do a whole day in how to deal with stress the consequences of stress like how it affects interpersonal relationships you can talk about what stress is like what it actually does in your body in your brain you can talk about what God says about stress how we are to have a relationship how we are to manage that how we are to not have it and then what he, the instructions he gives us to live a life that is not a slave to stress and anxiety and worry, right? And then share, you can share uh, situations and experiences where you've allowed stress. This is a time for you to share where you've allowed stress. Now, I know some of y'all like, well, I got little kids. How are we supposed to do that? You think little kids don't need to know? This is why I'm saying you have to plan this, right? What what resources do you have that can help you identify this? And I'm not talking about put on an Inside Out movie or something crazy <laughs> like that. But how can you chunk that down into a bite-sized piece where you're talking even to your kids, your little kids about this? I have three-year-old. I have four-year-old. I, I know. How, how can you... Sis, up oh, sis. Babe, when you are feeling stressed, when when your sister does this to you, let's talk about some things. Let's let's do some skits. You're not gonna say that, but let's let's pretend, right? You're gonna give them scenarios. You're gonna play through it. You're gonna give them coping techniques to deal with their anger, to deal with their stress. Where are you gonna find this? This on the internet. The same, the same way. The same way you find everything else, sis. When you got to find something for yourself, the, use them same brain pieces to search to find some activities for these kids. Okay? The point is, in homeschool, I'm encouraging you guys to think about the child, the whole child. Don't. It's not enough to just sit there and just give them a list of things and say, oh, you've done what you've had to do. I've done what I've had to do. We be to do. We're done. No. What we're trying to do is we're trying to raise women and men of God. But that means that we have to equip them with the things, like the tools, the technique, the things that you are learning right now. Let's teach them to our kids. So that they're not stre that they're not struggling with that when they get older, right? I think it's super important. And I just want to encourage you today to to Think about things a little differently. If you're seeing your child has some anger, if you're seeing your child is frustrated, these are little red flags. Like, okay, they're experiencing these things, whether it be hormones a lot, right? Like, the, how do, how, what can I give them? What techniques, tools, scripture, based in scripture, right? We're not telling them to go do chants and foolishness. No, but we are basing it in God's word, right? Um, what, what are you going, what can you provide for them to equip their little toolboxes to deal in life? Okay. That's what I want to encourage you on. That's what my, my little message today is. It's, it's to remember the entire child, to remember that we must teach to that as well, to teach them diligently, to make disciples of men, starting with our kids. All right, sis, I love y'all. I hope you have a wonderful day homeschooling and I will see you on the next video.